Oi, what's up? Welcome to the Gold Coast. Here I am in Australia, Queensland. Absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, there's a gorgeous view behind me. I'm here spoiled in this amazing resort, which we thought was a hostel, but it's actually clearly a beautiful resort with a gorgeous view. And uh, I in an awesome pool, which I have footage of later. But uh, yeah, just it's absolutely gorgeous. And I am so appreciative of being in a place like this. There was a time in my life when I was a lot younger and I thought I would absolutely never be in a place like this. I would never be in a resort. And I realize now that that is completely silly. Um, I really did. I, I consciously believed that I would never get to travel. I, I never thought that I would have the, the will to travel to uh, do all these logistical things like figure out how to get to where and like deal with public transportation and all that other kind of stuff that goes along with traveling. But um, that brings me to my point. So never say never. The logical fallacies of absolutes. Now, what are absolutes? Absolutes are basically the idea that <clears throat> never and always you say, I'll never do this, or it'll always be like this. Well, you have to understand that for something to be absolute, it has to be always. And since humans are so ephemeral and our existence only lasts for such a short time, there's really absolutely no way you can prove that anything is, in fact, always or never. The, the problem that I have, people are, I'll never do this. I will always be like this. Well, it's like, you know what? For that to be true, like especially for things that are like in the future or someone says about someone else, um, you will never learn this or you will never understand how to da 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 da. There's one, it's about the other person, so there's no way you can, one, follow them around for the rest of their life. I mean, it's possible. It makes it very difficult to follow them around the rest of their life to verify that they have never learned that or they never took the time or the effort to get to that point but it's silly why would you do that um, and basically what I'm saying is that there's no way you can truly prove that and and just logically I mean look at things that never should have happened uh, the Wright brothers um, let's think Martin Luther King uh, Gandhi passive resistance these are all like things that like never happened like could never have black people what Back in the day, black people can't have rights. Uh, they'll never have rights. Well, you know what? They do. Uh, Gandhi. Uh, the British will never get out of India. Never. They'll stay forever. Like whoever said that was wrong because there's no way to, to like, how would you have known that the whole past resistance thing wasn't going to happen? The biggest example that I like to use is the Wright brothers. Uh, they can fly. I mean, it's a Greek myth to be able to fly. Okay, like. That's incredible. There's a giant metal bird in the sky. It's not just a bird. Like we don't like create an organism and then fly in that, which I think would have made more sense in the ancient Greek mindset. Like create a god and then fly on its feathers and something. I don't know something like that. But we fly in metal birds for hours and we still complain about uh, the seat didn't go back enough. It's just like what? Why? What? <laughs> Flying? There's this is impossible. Yet we're doing it. So. It's just really silly to think about, like, the idea of a light bulb, the electricity, to turn on, the fact that you can harness electrons through the walls and goes into torches all over your house, like, you can turn on multiple torches with a flick of a switch, right? That's like, in the old mindset, like, the lights were torches, lights were flame, candles, etc. But the fact that you could just flip the switch, like, that was inconceivable. And someone probably said that at some point, you know what, I think I can make this happen without a flame. I think I can make it good. Like Edison, for example, made it happen. Now, that's an example of something that could never happen and actually did happen. So, basically the whole point that I want to try to say is, despite the fact that you might think, I'll never do this or I'll always do this, um, definitely reconsider and let yourself be open to the possibilities. I got people telling me, like, when I went skydiving, oh, I'll never go skydiving, I don't want to go skydiving, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Uh, like, oh, I'm going to go snorkeling. Oh, I never go snorkeling. It's so dirty. It's like, well, you won't go snorkeling under the current circumstances. But certain things like uh, those uh, bungee jumping, like, could you do it if someone had a gun to your head? I, I go, oh, I would never fight back in a, in a fight. Like, what happens if the circumstances change? What would you do then? Like, would you, if someone had a gun to your head, would you fight back? Would you, <laughs> if you had a parachute, would you go ahead and jump? Maybe you would. You have no way of knowing. You really don't until you're there. And that happens a lot, at least in my life. It's like, I thought I would never come to Australia, and here I am, you know? Sometimes things work out. So basically, the point I'm trying to get is be open to the possibilities. Enjoy the world. Enjoy the things that are. 
and feel free to be open to them because anything can come your way and um, I am so lucky to be here in Gold Coast, Queensland right now and um, I'm absolutely spoiled, but yeah, so accept the possibilities, grow as a person, appreciate life.